Welcome everybody. Okay, so here we are with a team haul. I have two bags here, so we're gonna try to get through most of them. Um, now, if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, thank you for joining. Uh, we are here with Ashton's Beauty. Ashton's Beauty, okay. So, with that name, I wanted to explain to you. I was gonna change it. I thought about changing the name of my channel, but I figured that would be a little bit too confusing. Here, let me move one of these so we can talk and you can see me. Okay, so I wanted to uh, change the name, but then I thought, well, I don't wanna change the name because then it would be too confusing. But when I first started this, this was years ago, probably six years ago, it was supposed to be like more of a subscription box uh, unboxing, but I never ended up really following through with it. So, I figured, you know, that's what I originally named it because of that reason. So I figured I'm just gonna leave it. Maybe eventually I'll get in back into that um, or even do like um, more get ready with me's or, you know, anything beauty related. So, but yeah, so here we are. And I'm working against the odds here today because I have the pavers that are outside paving the road and which I've been waiting for about two hours now because I was waiting for them to go on lunch break and I'm thinking, okay, well, 11.30, they should go on lunch break soon, but they didn't. So then it was like, now it's about 1.30 here. And finally, I think they went on lunch break because I don't hear them, but constantly it was like jackhammering and digging and I don't even know what they were doing, but they were just doing a lot of noisy stuff. And then I got Bella over here in her cage that's just, running amok. I have him. I don't know if you can see Tyson. Can you see him? Okay. He's kind of just like staring at me all weirdly. Um, the cat's upstairs with my daughter. Yeah, let me fix you a little bit. He's upstairs with my daughter because he was being crazy. I didn't really sleep last night. Um, so I'm kind of tired. But I figured I'm gonna do these. I'm feeling good though. I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's having a good start of their week. Uh, it is Tuesday here. I'm probably gonna post this on Tuesday and then I'll probably do another one um, today, but I'm probably not gonna post that till Wednesday or Thursday. So keep an eye on that. Make sure you like, subscribe, um, comment. I really like hearing from all of you guys. And um, okay, so let's get into it. I think that's all that I wanted to talk about. So let's get into it. Oh, this is my Timu shirt. I match energy. So go on ahead and decide how we gonna act. I thought it was cute. And it's actually one of like, um, it's cottony. It's like one of those soft cottons. So I like it. It's not um, the silky, like weird feeling, neoprene foamy, spongy shirt. But the only thing is, I don't know. The only thing is it kind of like, flares out at the bottom. It, it it doesn't quite fit like I would like it to, but it's okay. All right, let's get situated. I feel like I'm up too close. Okay, so the first thing we have, now I got two of these. And I kind of wanted to save like the Christmas haul for its own video, but this came in it, so I'm just gonna show you I don't know what that was. It sounded like the ice machine, but it was behind me. Okay, so this is an iron-on. I'm gonna hold it over here so you can see it. My ring light's kind of messing it up. This is an iron-on for a, a t-shirt, sweatshirt, anything you want to put it on. But it says, just a girl who loves Christmas. And it has hot chocolate and candy canes. And these look like maybe little cookies. But it's really cute. I'm not, I'm not honestly sure how to iron these on. So if anybody knows, let me know. Um, you know, I'm assuming you would just like put it on the shirt as you would, as you would read it, and then maybe put something over top of it and iron it on. See, that's the part I don't know. So if anybody, I haven't done this in years. I probably did this when I was younger. I made my own t-shirts, but if anybody knows, please let me know. But this was $1.29 for that one. And then I got a Halloween one that says freezing season, which is perfect for me because I'm freezing 24 seven. So that's what that one looks like. 
And it's like a little, a little skull with a pink hat and a pink scarf and some snowflakes and he's drinking hot chocolate. I think I might have to get some hot chocolate, although it's still really warm here, to be honest. Yesterday was 90, no, 85. And the sign at the park said 95, but there's no way. So it was 85. Today's probably like 80. <clears throat> okay. So next we have Isabel. Next we have, and I wanted to open this one because I wanted to show it to you before Halloween. This was 298 and it's diamond painting. Now I do have one diamond painting and I have to find it. I'm not sure where it is. I'm gonna back you up on here a little bit. I'm not sure where it is. I think, I think it's in this closet behind me, but it is a dandelion um, diamond painting. And I got about a quarter of the way through and I, I don't know, like I, I want to be able to sit down and be relaxed and do these, but like it was almost just like, I don't know if you guys know who do diamond painting, but like your eyes go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, trying to pick up these drills. I don't know why they call them drills, they're diamonds, but picking up these drills and you know, back and forth. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is too much for me. So I'm gonna pick it up and try it again because I got a couple more because I figured it would be a nice hobby. So I'm gonna open this one. This was $2.98, I think I already told you that. Now I'm not gonna, probably not gonna be able to get back into this thing. And their diamond art is so cheap. Like if you haven't, if you haven't um, tried it yet, you should try it being as cheap as it is. It's just something relaxing to do, especially in the winter whenever it's gonna be cold and you're not gonna be able to go out as much something nice to be able to do. Here's me telling you you should do them and I'm not really even doing them, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so here we go. It says spooky and it has a like a vintage looking truck and some gnomes, pumpkins. Looks like a little, I don't know what that is, a skeleton maybe right here like a skeleton but like Dracula at the same time I'm not sure but it's really cute a ghost bat and they're not huge so that I know they won't take forever to do so there is that and please if you um, I'm gonna try really hard to get this back in and I apologize but I just have too much stuff laying around and I don't, I don't like it not being in the package because I feel like I'll lose things. Um, but if you have not subscribed yet, please, please make sure to do that if you like my channel. Um, and there is going to be somewhere on the screen, I'm bending this, somewhere on the screen is going to be a coupon code. It's FAB40654. And that's gonna save you 50% off your first order, except I heard that it's, it's only good for an hour. So my suggestion to you would be to, okay, this is really kind of irritating me, would be to pick out all of your stuff and maybe, um, you know, maybe even like, I don't know how you could do it, let me think. Write it down or, because I feel like if, there's so much to look at because they have everything you could possibly imagine. Okay, I give up. They have everything you could imagine. So, unless you have particular things in mind, um, which I never do, rarely, but if you do, actually, if you do, go to that item and then sort up top, sort from lowest to highest, and it'll give you the lowest price item first, and then it'll, you know, go, go up in price. But, um, oh yeah. My little Michael Myers earrings. These are actually really cute and I got a lot of compliments, but I didn't know if it would be appropriate at work because of, you know, kids and I'm thinking, oh, you know, the kids, I don't know how the kids are gonna feel about these. I had a little girl staring at me um, the other day, but you know, so far so good. I get enough earrings that I, I probably will only wear them a couple times. Hydrate. Make sure you hydrate. 
Okay, next we have, for 328, we have a pink hat. For everybody that said they love the crinkling, I love you. Because I have no other option. I mean, I, I do. But I like to open them on, on camera. So this is like a distressed pink hat. And I like when the, when the brim is bent a little more. And it has the plastic adjustable. Sorry for my nails. I've been giving them a break for a week. My last video, if you haven't checked it out, it's a Halloween video. I had on my really cute Timu orange Halloween nails, but they were so flimsy and bendy. I kept bending them and they kept cracking all the way down the middle. So I just took them off. I'm giving my nails a break. They look crappy, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so shit show supervisor. Try to say that three times fast. Shit show, shit show supervisor. I can't do <laughs> You all know where I belong. Okay, so I'm not really gonna try this on because I have my hair pulled up, but I need to move the camera up, I think. But I love the color. And it feels really soft and comfortable. Like it's not one of those it's real like flimsy and bendy. It's not one of those stiff, you know, it feels, it literally feels distressed, which is cool. We have that. What do we have next? Let's get into these because I want to give them to the cats. Okay, so next we have a little mouse and Coco absolutely loves these. And the reason why is because, here, let me open it before I keep talking over the crinkling. So here's what it looks like, but she loves these because they have beads in them and they rattle and she just loves that. She absolutely loves that. Now, if this did not have the beads, she would not be interested. Okay. So this was 68 cents. And I think you can get the option to get like one or get maybe five. I don't know. I don't know why I only got one. That was really dumb, but I got one. So she'll like that. And then I got these for Romeo because he loves these springs. And I don't know how many pieces are here. How many glasses? Group of eight. Okay, so in each, in each one here, you have four. So you kind of just gotta like untangle them. So just untangle these, each one of these have four. And this was $1.28. And he loves these, the only problem is, he just pushes them around, scoots them around, and then they all end up underneath of everything, underneath the couches, underneath the tables, and then they get lost, which is why I got more. So $1.28 for those. Okay, this is this is why I really wanted to open this package first. We're at 14 minutes, okay. Sorry if I'm, I'm chatty, but I feel like I missed you guys. And I just wanna to talk to you. Okay. So this sweatshirt was $10.79. I'm not sure if I got a price adjustment or not. I haven't been getting many price adjustments. I don't know if anybody else has been, but like I got one today, I think, and it was a penny. I keep getting ones that are a penny and you know, fine, like it's cool. It's better than getting nothing, but, and they're also hidden. Like I have a couple different accounts. I have, I think three different accounts and my main one will show you like like it usually did you know leave a review return price adjustment and then something else but my other two accounts it's hidden so you can't see it like you can go on the order but you can't really see it it's down like hidden in this little bar with a circle around it that says leave a, re a review refund return and whatever else cancel order or something I don't know anyway so there's that with the price adjustments okay here's a useless piece of tissue paper I don't even know why they put it in there okay so this is a sweatshirt and it says says ghost Malone and he has tattoos all over his face and it says always tired And I will tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, 
this is actually like an actual sweatshirt. It's not filmy or spongy. It feels really nice. Let's see, it's a large, I actually got a large. See, composition, 100% polyester. Okay, so here's my thing. All their items for the most part are mostly polyester. Some are great, some are not. I don't, I'm not a fabric person, so I don't really, all right, fabric person. I mean, like, I don't know what else you would call it. I don't really know my fabrics well enough to know what's what. Okay, so polyester, for the most part, I've realized has been kind of shite, okay? I don't wanna swear, but this one is really nice. Long story short, this one is really, really nice. Dark gray, um, I mean, it feels like a tiny bit rough. It's not like, it's soft, but it's not like super soft, but I'm okay with that. I can just wash it. So we have that, which I feel like my daughter might want this. So we'll see, maybe I'll order another one. And I will be sure to link all the items that I get in the description box below, which typically I do. I'm still trying to, and I did it once or twice. I'm still trying to link my whole order, but I kind of, sometimes I kind of uh, separate, you know, like I'll take a few things out of one and put them in another bag. and as I want to open them because I have different ideas and things that I want to open sooner than later. And, you know, so a lot of times this is not like an actual order that I, that I bought together. I kind of mismatch the bags, but <clears throat> there's that. Okay. Now we have a bath mat, white and black. And I used to buy those pebble, pebbly ones. I got a gray one, I got a pink one, and they're okay. But I kind of wanted one that was more like carpeted. So, crinkle time. I know people say, don't apologize. I can't help it. I mean, that's all I do at work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm, that's just my nature. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Can't really tell. I mean, honestly, can't tell how big it is. Maybe, I don't know, a foot and a half, foot and three quarters. But it says bath time, good mood, bubble bath day. But that's cool. I mean, the A is a little wonky. Can you tell? Maybe it's just me. You know what, so it's printed on the actual rug material. I'm sorry, I think I get, I have like some kind of sinus thing going on. So it's printed on this terry cloth. So depending on which way you move it, it kind of messes up the, that might drive me crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, but it feels nice. It feels really nice. The back has that beaded plastic backing. It's like it's supposed to be a non-slip, we'll see. They kind of still move around as far as I know. My last couple ones did. This was 628. Couple more things. This is so exciting, I love opening these. Opening these. This I was super excited about. Okay, so this is a, I don't even know what you would call it. Like a, it looks like a daily planner, but it is for budgeting. So it comes in this really nice, okay, really nice purple book. It's like a, a faux leather. And it has a magnetic strap. Now inside, you have your binder part and you have stickers, okay, and your budget sheet. Okay, so your budget sheet has date, description, amount, and balance. 
So this is where you would budget. Write everything down, how much you, you want to spend or typically spend. Now, back here are bags, and these are to keep cash in. I mean, that's what I, I would keep in them. That's what I plan on keeping in them. So there, they are these bags, and they do have holes so that you can put them in the binder, and then you mark them. So you would mark them with these stickers. So you have housing, food, insurance, savings, personal, um, education, Christmas, car maintenance, makeup, That's really cool. Rent, gas, clothing. So literally, I mean, I can't think of much more you would need, but so you would choose which one you wanna put on the envelope and then you would, you know, every day or whenever you get paid, just divvy up your money and then put a little bit in each, each pouch. And then you can, you know, at the end of the month or the end of the year or whatever, like for Christmas, at the end of the year you could um, use that money for Christmas gifts. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was a good way to budget. And that was $9.78, I believe. Okay. We have that. I don't know. Is everybody decorating for Halloween? I started. Um, we got some of the outside done, which is kind of cool. I'll have to show you a picture. And then I got some of my other indoor decorations done. I'm not completely done, but we got a lot of it. Sorry. I'm sorry. See, there I go again. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay. What? Let's see. Got a couple more things. We got another diamond art, and I couldn't help, I couldn't help but to buy this, because I love Scooby-Doo. I loved watching Scooby-Doo as I was, when I was younger. Uh, as I got older, I still kind of like, um, I didn't watch it as much, but I, my daughter did, so I enjoyed watching it with her. And then, just recently, I, I found it on one of the Roku channels, like Tubi or something. I found it on Tubi, and I thought, oh, that's, you know, that's something I could easily fall asleep to. It was like a, I don't know, like a reminiscing type of thing. But so I had to get this Scooby Doo diamond art. I just thought it would be cool to, to frame maybe $2.99. Where I could put it, I have no idea. No idea where I would put a Scooby Doo diamond art painting. But I'm going to post a picture up here because if I try to open this, I am not going to be able to get it back in this tiny package. So, oh, here's what it is. You can see that. Sorry for my nails. Don't look. So Scooby, well, it looks like he's licking Shaggy. I don't have my glasses on. Squinting. So we have that. Next we have, I'm gonna save like the other ones for last because they're, I'm gonna try them on for you. Next we have a keychain that was 89 cents and it is a mermaid. 24 minutes. Maybe we can get into the second one. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Turn her around. Oh, there's a little gnat. I let a fly in earlier and it's driving the dogs insane. Came in the front door. Dreaming of the sea. That's really cute. It's very jingly and it has this little, uh, Oh, these clasps look like they'll break so easy or the charms will fall off. So you might want to reinforce these clasps. It has this little blue mermaid scale looking gem. Jingle, jingle. Jingling, baby. Next we have, and I remember these from when I was younger. 
Oh, did I love these? And, and they're so silly, but cool. Okay, so these are fortune telling miracle fish. And I only bought them because, you know, it just reminded me of my childhood. But each of them came in this little sleeve. And do you remember, okay, going on a tangent. Do you remember the fortune gum? So it would be like this, um, I think it was like this flat, well, just like any other gum, I guess it was the shape of it, but it was, it was like bubble gum and it had a different flavor, but it was really good. And then you would get a fortune wrapped around it. Kind of reminded me of that, but anyway, back to it. So it comes with this red fish. It has writing on it too. Place the fish in palm of the hand. The movements will indicate your fortune. Keep fish in envelope when not in use. Okay, so you put the fish in the palm of your hand and then on the back here, it will tell you what it, it means. Place fish in palm of hand and its movements will indicate moving head, moving tail, moving head and tail, curling sides, turns over, motionless, curls up entirely. Okay, so let's try it out. So I think what's happening here is the sides are curling, curling sides. I'm fickle. Okay. Hmm. I'm fickle. I don't know about that fish. Okay. I'll have to have somebody else try it out and see if it, it does something different. That's cute, but you get a lot of them. I mean, if you want to give them away just as gag gifts or something, my mother used to do that all the time with our Christmas stockings. She used to just put weird, random stuff in there that was funny. One year we got a kazoo. Learn how to kazoo. Um, oh, we got so many silly things I wish I could remember now. But you get 25 in here, I believe, for 348. So that is the lucky fish, fortune telling fish. I'm gonna take another drink. I have a little bit of a headache. I don't know why. Every time I get a headache, I think, oh my gosh, I'm dehydrated. Probably not. Probably just didn't get enough sleep. Because I fell asleep on the couch and it sounds really good when, when, you know, when I'm laying there comfy, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fall asleep on the couch. But then I got up at four and then I got up at six or seven and I thought okay this is it like I, I just gotta go upstairs so by the time I got upstairs the pavers came and just so I put in my earbud and watched some YouTube videos to try to fall asleep and this is wrinkled to H-E-L-L -L and back for sure okay not what I expected the collar to look like. Okay, so this is the collar. And wow, is it wrinkled. This is basically a sleep shirt. So it is like a dress shirt, but a sleep shirt. So it's like dress shirt material, but a sleep shirt. I'm, I'm gonna try this on, but it's gonna look so silly because of how wrinkled it is. But the collar reminds me of um, like a certain style. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. A certain style. Okay. So I'm gonna stand up and we're gonna see how long it is. Okay. Okay. So, my goodness, it comes down. I feel like it's more like of a robe. Maybe I got too big of a size. Okay, so it comes down. I'm gonna stand on my chair here. Right above my knee. Sorry. 
I just wanted to show you how how high it was. I, I guess I could have just stood back there, but yeah, but it's comfortable. It's really cool. It's like a cooling material. It's a, oh, it even has pockets. Oh my goodness. Okay, that just made it 10 times better. It has two pockets. That's great. The, the buttons are wooden. So that's nice. I mean, I'm never gonna do this. Now I just look like a geisha girl or something. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Like a geisha. Paint my face white. They're beautiful. Paint my face white and my lips red. Okay. <laughs> that, that'll that never happen. It feels like it's choking me out like it. But you know, just like a few buttons and then you can wear this to bed. Really cute. 1079. And I think I got a price adjustment on this too. And it's really cool. I don't know how that's gonna be because I'm always freezing, but that's nice. Okay, the next thing is not for me, but I'm so tempted to try it on. This is a medium. I got a medium. I, hold on. I'm so tempted to try it on. I'm just going to. because it just looks so comfy. I should have ordered one for myself. I didn't even think of looking one for my, for one for myself. Okay, this is a one piece. Okay, I'm feeling it. One piece, it's kind of soft. Oh, stop it. I keep getting alerts on my screen and it throws me off. It, it's one piece hooded PJ outfit. Now these are a little bit funky. I mean, we could have done better, Timu, come on. Like, I think Romeo could have sewed that better. But whatever. Okay. So, back it up. All right. Yeah. So I got this in an extra large, so it was it was big. It has pockets in the front and it's soft. It's not, it's not spongy or uh, foamy feeling. The bottom is elastic, which is nice. Okay. Let's get in this thing. Oh, I should have just got one for myself. Cause I think I'm going to love this. I want to wear it right now, to be honest. Oh yeah, this is great. Oh, this is so great. I just want to curl up on the couch with hot tea. Let's fix these funky, that's horrible. I, I might just take these off and yeah. Cause it feels like there's one of those plastic things on it. So I don't even know why they would do this. That's horrible. It says sport, men's fashion classic. Okay. Back up. That'd be horrible at a fashion show, but I'm just trying to show you the legs. Wow. Okay, so obviously this is like way too big for me, but wow, this is comfortable. And this was $22.77, and I think I got a price adjustment on it, too. So, yeah, and then it has the hood. <laughs> Thumbnail. Probably not. Has the hood. Has this little leather tab, which makes the zipper easy to function with. Oh, I like it. Okay. So, it looks like I liked the one thing that's not mine the best. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll get myself one and I'll show you guys. Girls, girls and guys. Okay. Yeah, that was an extra large. I wanted to get it big because I don't want him to, you know, like be pulling down on his shoulders or pulling up in the, in the crotch area, you know. So, extra large. 
Although the arm, the arms, the arms are okay, but like, see, maybe I just have unusually large, long, not large, long arms. Because for me, this, this arm length is just where I would want it for me as a female. As a male, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. Hopefully his long arms are as long as mine. Maybe I just really do have long arms. Okay, so anyway, there you have it. There is the Timu haul, we're at 36 minutes. I think I'm gonna stop there. And then we will do this one another day. All right, so I'm like ready for bed. Good night, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have to go to the store. I'm making, um, I'm making something in the crock pot and I thought, you know what? We're gonna do it. I thought it'd be kind of cool for you guys to kind of like guess what I'm making in my crock pot. Uh, it's kind of like a little giveaway because we are at 14, 14.05 and at 1500, I wanted to do like a larger giveaway, but I thought it would just be kind of cool. Just like a little thing where you would just guess what I'm making in my crock pot and, um, and I'll just send you a little gift. You know, we'll email each other and I'll send you a little gift. So if you can comment down below, I think I messed up my eyebrows. I'm really weird about the way my eyebrow hair lay. You know, if you do this, it drives me insane. Like, don't do that. Okay, so if you can guess what is in my crock pot as we speak, uh, I will send you a gift. If you're the first person to guess correctly, I will send you a gift. And um, yeah, so I'll be doing my other haul tomorrow. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. But I, I miss you guys and I appreciate you watching. I hope you watch the whole thing. Um, that way you got to get into this little crock pot giveaway. Um, so yeah, there we go. All right, I will see you soon. Talk to you guys, bye.